Chase and beautiful cakes. Well, it looks like USA went home, so I don't know where their cake is, and I don't actually know what it looked like. Um, this was the live cake from Team Peru. Now, if I remember correctly, they had one period of time, I think it must have been like six or seven hours, to create this from scratch, real cake, in front of judges, and there were teams of two. So that was Peru. Um, let's go to Mexico. Mexico. There you go, Mexico. Now, oh, it fell off. Oh, well, there you go. Um, this is Ireland. Hello, Ireland. Congratulations. You've won for the second time in a row. Unfortunately, I think humidity has got to the cake. As you can see, I'm sure that rainbow was actually on the front of the cake. In fact, I know it was on the front of the cake. It was by the leprechaun's foot. But congratulations again, Ireland. Um, this is Hungary. Oh, I need to get around the pole, so ignore me as I walk around. Uh, this is where the judges were. As you can see, they have each had a little kitchen set up to work in. Just basic equipment, everything else they bought themselves. Um, this is Guatemala. There's Guatemala. Uh, who is this? This is China. Um, they've had some issues, I think, with humidity as well. I know the Chinese team actually had some serious struggles. They had a lot of their pieces made because they were allowed to bring them with them. But when they got to um, Border Control in America, apparently Border Control took away all of their pre-made cake, all of their pre-made pieces and all of their equipment. So congratulations China for actually pulling that one out the bag. So on to Canada. 150, I'm not sure what the 150 is for, but then I'm a bit geographically and historically challenged. Maybe a 150 year celebration of Canada, I don't know. Australia, okay Australia, you've got to have done more than a dead koala. So, uh, maybe they can't got eaten, I don't know. You never know who takes what. Um, and this is Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. Okay, that's enough for this time in the morning, Griffiths. Okay, so that's as much as I can do today. I will try to do other things as the weekend goes by. So, have fun, guys. I'll see you later. Bye now. Okay, guys and girls, um, it's coming to a close. This is the last update I'm going to do from the America's Cake Fair. Um, sorry, I haven't done too many updates. I've done a few of the things I think you want to see. Uh, it's absolutely been crazy busy here. Um, lots of things to look at, lots of things to talk about, lots of things to play with, lots of things to see. So, um, this is just farewell from Florida. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I get on a plane to go home, so I get to sleep in my own bed. I get to drink a cup of tea in my own kitchen, I get to play with the dog, and guess what? I get to see my family. And most importantly of all, I get to do laundry. So hopefully this spinning round actually hasn't driven you over the edge. It's been a great show. Uh, it's one I haven't done before. I think I will definitely be doing this one again. So many people I've loved to meet, so many good opportunities, so many nice products. Um, thank you, Santa Nice. It was a really good show. and. I'll see you, I think the next one is Cake International at Birmingham NEC. So, I will see you there guys. Have fun. Bye-bye now. Good morning from sunny Orlando, Florida. It's my last morning here. I've packed last night, so I try to get an early night because I know this is going to be an incredibly long day. Several flights, lots and lots of hours in the air and a severe time change. So, but never mind, so I've got a good night's sleep. Got up quite early this morning. I was up at about six. Finish all the packing, ready to go. Great news! I got my luggage in under my luggage allowance. That's always a worry, especially if you've shopped. I didn't shop a lot, but I did shop for a few essentials I wanted. Um, I eventually got my Fat Daddy's, uh, Fat Daddy's um, tray bake pattern that I've been trying to get for ages. I, it wasn't that I couldn't find it, it's just I couldn't remember the size of my oven. So this time before I left, I wrote it down. So, hallelujah, Griffiths gets a clue. So. 
This has been a wonderful two and a half weeks in America, a great odyssey, adventure, journey, whatever you wish to call it. Um, I started off with the Oklahoma State Sugar Art Show for Kerry Vincent. Some fabulous cakes as always, meeting up with some friends that I only ever see at that show. I'd highly recommend that show. It's, it's a good one. It's not about the traders. It's all about the cake. As far as I'm concerned, it should be all about the cake and the artistry they do. Um, for those of you considering going next year, I'd highly recommend it. Recommended it? There's too many D's in that crevice. Recommend it. Um, it's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's the 25th anniversary or 25th birthday of the show, so it's going to be spectacular. The Grand National Wedding Cake theme for next year is modern classic. I think that's quite an open category, an open theme, so it means you've got lots and lots of things to do. I'm excited to be seeing what you come up with. Where did I go from there? Um, I went to San Antonio, Texas, where I taught for Frosting Creators. And yes, guys, as promised, I did look at the calendar. I did do some emailing. Yes, I will be back in um, 2018. I'm planning to be there on the 3rd and 4th, or is it the 2nd and 3rd? It's a Saturday, Sunday. I think it's the 3rd and 4th of March, 2018. So pencil that in your diaries. Um, I can't share with you the class yet because um, Frosting Creators and I are still talking about what we think would best suit you. I should imagine it's going to be a lavender colored cake because we know Cindy likes to do the lavender colored cakes. But we'll see, I'll play around with themes and try and give you some new challenges for that. Um, <clears throat> Had a nice time in San Antonio, Texas. Had a bit of downtime in the hotel, which meant I could actually outline my new book. So the book proposal is written. I now need to sell that idea to someone, or do I self-publish again? And then start work on it. So 2019, I should have a new book out. And no, it's not going to only be in raw icing. It's going to be simply stylish cakes for you guys from me. Just sharing with you some of the hints and tips and tricks that I've used along the way, some of the shortcuts. I'm a commercial decorator, as we know, so hopefully help you out with that one. What else happened? Then I flew on to Orlando, Florida, hence that's why I'm in this hotel room, and I did the America's Cake Fair. Now, I wasn't able to do it last time, or the first time it ran, because I had other commitments, and it just it wasn't viable. I'd need to have had star trek technology to get from one show to another because they were like overlapping so i had to say no to it last time i came this time really enjoyed the show the humidity nearly killed me um great classes great great demonstrations good selection of traders congratulations to ireland ireland won the live cake challenge again they won it the first time too i'm seeing a theme people um there was a Pillsbury um, live cake challenge as well. Unfortunately, I was working too much. I didn't actually get to see the start, the beginning, or the end of that one, but congratulations to whoever won that. Um, some really nice exhibits in the competition area. I have shared as much video footage as I was able to do. Um, I was demonstrating twice there. Thank you for supporting me in that. That was fun. And then I spent a lot of time on the KTC Design Show, um, show stand promoting my book which sold out very quickly guys and my creative cake system which actually sold out very quickly as well so happy about that but it was it was a chance to meet some of the people from Facebook you know what it's like with Facebook you're a little tiny picture in the call of the screen and you ever never actually get to meet these people and it was wonderful to catch up and put names to faces or faces to names we had some laughs and there's some absolute crackpots in the cake decorating world and I think we all got together. There was Norman and Zane and Reva and me and just Kerry from Australia. Kerry, you don't take breath, do you girl? She may be fabulous at buttercream but good God can that woman talk. I love ya. So, um, I know Edna de la Cruz was there but I saw her in Tulsa. I never managed to catch up with you Edna, sorry love. Um, I know Rich from Roxy and Rich was there as well. Love Roxy and Rich products. However, never never got to see Rich. We we were a little bit. It was a little bit busier than I had time to run around and see everything. So, never mind. Um, we had Ron Ben Israel. Saw him running around like a mad fool as well. Buddy Velasco was there as well. Mitch Turner had a chance to catch up with Mitch. Haven't seen Mitch for about two years. So we had a bit of a chin wag. That was a good one. But on the whole, it's been a great trip. 
but I love you America and all of you but I love my own bed better I can't wait to get home put my head on my own pillow um, then have a nice cup of tea real tea not this American stuff real tea in my own kitchen say hello and reintroduce myself to my family and to tickle the death out of my dog biscuit or our dog biscuit it's not my dog it's the family dog um, tickle biscuit and explain to him why I haven't been home for a long time because he's not going to understand so never mind. there you go so I do need to thank a lot of people um, Satinice and Kevin thank you for putting on a great show I hope to see you in 2019 I think it's it's every other year so if it runs runs to form it'll be in 2019 <clears throat> Katie Sue designs thank you again for that great seeing you great working with you as all team Team Katie Sue, we do it. Um, American K Decorating, Rebecca, thank you so much for having a very, very organized cake hospital. Um, Lydy, thank you very much, all the support and getting my, my pastes and my fondants and machines for the raw icing and all of that, that was fabulous. And the whole team of volunteers made, made the America's Cake Show a dream. Frosting Creators, thank you. I think that's it really. I think that's enough of my chopsing away. I need to get downstairs, grab a cup of coffee, um, and get myself ready for the super shuttle off for my flights to Atlanta and flights on to Heathrow. So I will see you in Birmingham, see you at the Cake International Show, um, first weekend I think it is of November. It's been fabulous America. Thank you very much guys. Thanks from Orlando, Florida. Bye.